about the of spring. Hopefully, my light doesn't reflect on this paper too much. Uh, good morning. I'm Bob the Canadian, uh, and we're going to spend a little bit of time today talking about the season of spring. Uh, I do have to apologize because this is very north, uh, northern hemisphere uh, type of topic. Check my audio for a minute to make sure. Not sure if that's going to work or not. Not sure if it will start going again. We're going to wait a second here. I hope that this works. I just restarted the stream. And uh, I think this is working now. We're going to just uh, hopefully, uh, Todd, let me know if uh, there's still problems. I think we're having some strange errors right now. But uh, yes, I saying that in the northern hemisphere it is spring right now i know in the southern hemisphere you guys do things a little bit different um but uh, up here yesterday in canada was the first day of spring i think the first day of spring is slightly different in different parts of the world maybe it's today or tomorrow but uh if uh people could just let me know in the chat now if things seem to be working it looks like Things are working for me. So um, why are we doing a lesson on spring, you might ask, <laughs> when things in the world are going a little bit crazy right now um, and everyone's talking about uh, things that uh, like the coronavirus. Um, and I thought about doing a lesson today on the coronavirus, but as I was watching YouTube videos yesterday, I realized that almost every single YouTube video right now uh, is about... Um, it's about the coronavirus. So um, I'm going to just do a lesson on spring because it is the first day of spring. Todd YouTube says... video right now uh, is about... Um, yeah, I think we're just going to have to live with the audio the way it is. I'm not sure why it is making funny sounds, but uh, we'll just keep going. Anyways, I think it's better just to talk about spring and the different signs of spring. So in English, we have this little phrase that you start to see the first signs of spring. Uh, so I'm going to talk about some of the first signs of spring, and I'm going to talk about a lot of the other things that you will see in the season of spring. Again, if you are an absolute beginner, in English, we have the seasons of spring, summer, fall, or autumn. They have It has two names, uh, and the season of winter. So we are going to talk about the season of spring, um, I'm sure if you are in Australia, you are starting the season of uh, autumn or fall right now. But yes, uh, there are signs of spring. In fact, we have another phrase. We say spring is in the air. Um, there's kind of this little change as winter ends where you can kind of start to feel like it's spring. Uh, and we also say uh, spring is just around the corner. So you can see here there's a building here and it's on a corner. Um, and sometimes we say, you know, spring is just around the corner. Um, that's something we would have said a couple weeks ago, though, because now spring is not around the corner. Spring, spring is actually here. So uh, a few things that you will see at the beginning of spring. Let me just check my audio one more time. A couple weeks ago, though, because now... Well, I think it's working good enough, so we'll just keep going. Uh, one of the first signs of spring, of course, is that things begin to thaw or things begin to melt. So you'll see the snow begin to thaw in a country like Canada where we have snow. You will see ice and snow start to melt. So when something thaws, it goes from being solid to being water or liquid. Uh, when something melts, it does the same thing. Um, but we certainly start to have um, a lot more uh, uh, wet outside than we do a lot of snow. So things begin to thaw. In fact, right now outside, um, I wish I could have done this live stream outside, but it's really windy, really rainy, and it's actually slightly dark still at this time in the morning. So uh, anyways, uh, things start to thaw, um, and that's probably one of the first signs of spring. Um, another sign of spring is that we start to see more birds. Um, birds either return from the south. We have birds that fly south in the, uh, in the fall, and then they fly back north in the spring. But we also have birds that just 
live here in the winter, but you don't see them a lot in the winter. They're kind of uh, in their nests or homes. I don't know where birds go in the winter, um, but we definitely start to see more birds flying around. Uh, I want to say a thank you to Elias Gomez. He says, hello, Professor Roberto. All right, I'm in line to go to the supermarket. Uh, you can only enter 20 people at a time. Difficult situation. Well, hang in there, Elias. Um, I hope things go well, and thank you so much for the super chat. Um, uh, yes, hang in there. By the way, um, I forgot to mention, if you do have questions during this live stream, uh, Todd will be posting the link to the form that uh, you can use to ask the questions and I'll get to them in a moment. Um, the other thing you'll start to see uh, in the spring is you'll start to see more uh, butterflies as the monarch butterflies return. Uh, we haven't seen them yet. It does take a while. It's very early in the spring right now, but eventually we will see that. And we do see uh, a lot of Canada geese. So Canada geese, I should have had a bigger picture, but they migrate to the south in the fall <clears throat> and then they migrate back north in the spring. So we start to see geese uh, down by our river. We have actually quite a few geese right now. So uh, birds migrate every year. They go south and then they return north. Hey, let me check if there are any questions. There are a few. Uh, first question is from Lily from Vietnam says hello teacher Bob I know you are a farmer as well so do you grow flowers on your field in the spring so right now Jen is actually quite busy getting things planted um, starting to clean up the farm to get ready to grow flowers but I must say we are a little um, hesitant to grow a lot of flowers this year because we're not sure how many we'll be able to sell in a couple of months. We don't know how long all of us are going to be living this way where we're kind of stuck in our home. So we are going to plant and grow flowers, but we're not sure if even by June when we start to sell them, if people will be buying them. So yes, we do grow flowers, but it's tricky to know how much to grow. Next question is from Vitaly Spirnov. Hello, Teacher Bob. I don't have a special question about spring. I just want to thank you for your work. I hope your new videos about Canada are on your list. Yes, definitely, uh, and you are welcome. Uh, let's see here. Next question is from Greg. Hello, Coach. Thank you for your work. Uh, do you like spring? I do like spring, actually. Um, as most of you know, I really like winter. I like a lot of snow. I like it to be really cold. But part of the beauty of winter is also that it ends. So I do like spring. Uh, I do like uh, when it starts to warm up a little bit and we can go outside more. You do uh, in Canada in the winter start to feel a little bit stuck in your house sometimes. Um, next question is from Lolly. Bonjour Bob, are you going to sell your flowers this year? I hope so, thanks Bob. So Lolly, the current plan is to grow flowers and hopefully by June or July, Canada is through this current um, uh, coronavirus situation and hopefully we can sell some. So we're certainly not expecting to sell a lot of tulips in the next month. Um, in fact, hardly anyone is buying flowers anywhere in the world right now. So, uh, and I'll do one more question and uh, we'll get back. By the way, um, I do only answer questions related to the topic, okay? So if I skip your question, um, it might not be... Um, it might be because you asked a question that wasn't related to the topic of spring. Adele Camis says, what is the weather in spring like in Canada? How about life there due to the social distancing and isolation around the world? Well, right now the weather is very, still a little bit cold. It's about four or five degrees Celsius every day. Um, and it's a little bit rainy and it's quite muddy. But I will say this, I'm glad that we are stuck at home now in the spring instead of in the middle of winter. Um, this would this is a lot nicer because we can go outside and play, the kids can go outside and play. Sometimes in the winter you're, you're really stuck in your house so it's a lot harder. Um, let's see here. Um, next question. Yeah, I'll do this last one and then we'll get back to the lesson. Olga from Germany says, hello Bob, I hope you are going out. Uh, uh, going good. Sorry. Gut. That looks like a German word for good. Gut. Uh, I have a question. What is your favorite time of year? Winter. Uh, and in what time of year were you born? I was born actually in the summer months and I usually never give out my birthday, but it's either in July or August. 
you guys will have to figure it out. Hey, in the spring, we start to wear different coats. <laughs> so through the winter, I wear a heavy winter coat. As it gets a bit warmer, I wear a lighter winter coat. Uh, and right around this time of year, I start to wear a jacket. In fact, I think um, cold weather does not bother me very much. Sometimes I go straight from wearing a winter coat to wearing no coat or jacket in the spring if it gets warm really quickly. As soon as it's above 10 or 15 degrees Celsius, I sometimes don't wear a coat and I don't wear a jacket. But you definitely see people wearing less outerwear. They wear, uh, instead of coats, they wear jackets. Um, we stop wearing our winter hats at this time of year. We stop wearing gloves, although everyone's still wearing gloves right now because of the coronavirus. Uh, you will see everyone wearing gloves, even though it's spring. Hey, we do something in our homes uh, that's called spring cleaning. Um, this is very, very common uh, in Canada. When we move from winter to spring, as soon as we have days where it's warm enough to open our windows, we usually open our windows to get lots of fresh air in our homes and we usually spend time spring cleaning. So we spend lots spring, of time as soon as we um, just doing more than the normal cleaning. So more than vacuuming, more than just wiping up, we actually clean our homes thoroughly. So we do spring cleaning and that's the English term for it, okay? So you can, you will often hear people say, oh, I'm gonna spend a few days doing some spring cleaning. Um, basically, that means they're going to clean their home thoroughly. We are doing a lot of spring cleaning this week right now because we have lots of time. Uh, also, we go outside and in our yards, we do a lot of spring cleanup. So spring cleaning takes place inside your home. Spring cleanup takes place outside your home in your yard. So often in the winter, there are sticks or branches that come off of the trees, that fall off of the trees. Sometimes there's just things that have blown across your yard in the winter. Um, sometimes there's old leaves from last fall. So often Canadians and other people around the world in the spring will be out doing some spring cleanup. Um, so spring cleaning inside, spring cleanup outside. Um, and then probably one thing that happens a lot is parents make their kids go outside and play more. So uh, in Canada, kids play outside a lot in the winter, but not as much as they play outside in the spring and summer and fall. So my kids right now are outside for a few hours every day. Um, it's just really nice outside right now. So, um, so that they don't uh, feel like they are stuck inside, we ask them to go play outside. Um, so they're doing a lot of things outside right now. Um, you can see this kid is actually jumping into a puddle. My kids do that sometimes too. Uh, when kids go to play outside in the spring, they usually come in a little bit dirty and a little bit muddy. Um, hey, I just want to stop and say hi to the 380 people watching. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Bob the Canadian. Uh, we're doing a little lesson right now. Let me find my paperback on uh, the topic today is spring because it is uh, basically the first day of spring was yesterday, today or tomorrow, depending, I think, on where you live. Um, if you are new here, don't forget to click that red subscribe button and uh, give me a thumbs up, all of you, if you are enjoying this lesson so far. Um, yes, kids play outside. When our kids play outside, we ask them to wear rubber boots. So rubber boots are a special kind of boot that is waterproof. So that might be a new word for you in English. When something is waterproof, it does not let water in. So often, um, like I will go outside and I will wear my rubber boots. These have different names in different English speaking countries. Um, I think in New Zealand, they're called wellies or wellingtons. I can't remember. Um, but in Canada, we call these rubber boots. So they are waterproof boots um, that a lot of Canadians wear in the spring, not necessarily to go to work. We wear these more if we are outside in our yard. Some people do have fancy rubber boots that they wear to work. Um, I do not wear rubber boots to work, but I do wear rubber boots. If I was to go outside today to do some spring cleanup, I would definitely wear my rubber boots. Um, because 
<clears throat> in the spring, there is a lot of spring rain. Um, obviously in the winter, it tends to snow, but in the spring, it tends to rain a lot. Um, and there are a lot of puddles. So puddles are when there's water on the ground. This person is stepping into a puddle. And in the spring, there is, my papers are stuck together here. There is a lot of mud, okay? So another good reason to wear rubber boots is to keep your feet dry, but also so that if you need to walk in some mud, you don't get mud on your shoes or in your shoes. So there's mud, there's a lot of puddles, there's a lot of water, it's just really wet. I can actually hear the rain outside right now hitting the window once in a while. Hey, let's jump over to the questions. Let me clean up my questions for a sec. Uh, let me find the next one. Um, this is from Layla. Layla Salam says, oh, Layla says, Salam Alaikum Bob, thank you. Wish you and your family are healthy. Please, could you tell me the right way to pronounce T in better and water? It's between D and T, and I can't say as you do. So if I say it slowly, I would say better and water, but we don't say it that way when we speak at normal speed. So we say better and water. The challenge comes in that your tongue hits the top of your mouth, but it doesn't stay there. So it's better water. If you want a little trick, you can just pronounce it like a D and people won't notice. So you can say better and water and, and people won't mind. They'll, they'll think it sounds normal, but we certainly don't say it as a hard T. There's no T sound when we say better or water. Um, next question. Um, let's see here. Ahmad says, hi, teacher Bob. <laughs> I wonder where does your family go during your lessons at home? So right now, my whole family is sleeping. Can you believe it? Um, it's 7.47 a.m. So it's 10 to 8 in the morning. But because there's no school, um, they're just sleeping right now. So they're probably wondering what dad is doing downstairs because they probably just hear me. Uh, but uh, yes, uh, they are definitely sleeping. When I do my Saturday live streams, they're usually playing outside or they're just in another room reading books or something like that. Uh, let's see. Next question. Vida from Ukraine says, do leaves fall off the trees or from the trees? So in the spring, they don't do either, but I think you do that. In the fall though, the trees, uh, sorry, the leaves fall off the trees. And you can also say the leaves fall from the trees. You could say both, okay? Um, generally, I would say the leaves are falling off the trees or yesterday there was a big wind and a lot of tree, a lot of leaves fell off the tree. I almost said a lot of trees fell off the leaves. That doesn't make sense. A lot of leaves fell off the tree. Let's see here. Next question is from Hugh. Hi, Bob. How do you live the fall in Canada? Hmm. Not sure exactly what the question is, but if you're asking about how, what, what do we do in the fall? Um, we go outside a lot and we enjoy the fall colors. I'm not sure if you're talking about the season of fall there, Hugh, but hopefully that made some sense. Let me do one more question and we will keep going. Um, let's see, I, Layla Salam again, dear Bob, I love spring. Could you please give us some expressions and phrasal verbs related to spring? Thanks, you are the best teacher in the whole world. So I don't have a lot of uh, phrasal verbs that come to mind, um, but I would say that uh, we definitely get out a lot more. So when you say in English that, uh, I just need to get out of the house, I need to get out. Uh, we definitely get out a lot more in the spring. We walk, we go for walks outside. Um, we also, uh, a lot of times in the spring, uh, we would say that we just want to soak up the sun. So when you're inside in the winter a lot, you don't get a lot of sunshine. But in the spring, sometimes you just want to go outside and soak up some sunshine. So you, you just want to stand and let the sun hit you. There's two little phrases for you. Um, I don't have any more prepared, but hopefully that helps you. Let's see here. Next question. Anna Teslenko. Hi. Have a good day. You too. What kind of flowers appear the first in spring in Canada? Thank you. So three things appear really quickly in Canada. Um, I'm pretty sure the first flower to appear is something called a crocus. Um, you'll have to look that up and I hopefully I don't get it wrong. After that, we get daffodils 
and then we get tulips in kind of in that order. Um, so those are the three earliest. There's daffodils uh, almost everywhere. You can see them coming out of the ground. They have not bloomed yet though. Um, but let's get back to the lesson. Thanks for the question. Um, right now in spring, you will see a lot of buds on the trees. So you can see here at the end of this branch, we have what we would call a bud. Okay, so there are two buds here. If you go outside right now, almost every tree has buds and those buds eventually will open up and form either blossoms or leaves. So right now on the trees, we have lots of buds. In a few weeks, a lot of trees will have blossoms. So blossoms are flowers that appear on certain kinds of trees. We have about two or three trees in our yard that will have blossoms soon. I think I did a video actually once a while ago on the signs of spring. I think I did one last year. You can search that up if you want. And uh, I think I show you some uh, buds and some blossoms, but uh, eventually some trees will have blossoms. And we were talking about uh, flowers. Eventually you will have blooms. So when a flower has a bud, eventually it opens and you will have blooms. We do not have anything flowering right now. It's too early in the spring, um, but eventually we will see a lot of flowers blooming. There will be a lot of blooms outside. And I guess we just talked about this. Um, in about two or three weeks, you will start to see a lot of daffodils and a lot of tulips, okay? A lot of blooms outside. Just checking my audio. Um, so these are one of the first flowers we see on the farm as well as tulips about a week or two later. So tulips and daffodils are the two most common flowers that we would see in this part in the spring. The other thing you will see on a lot of farms in Canada, um, by the way, if you watched the lesson I did on the seasons, um, some of these were just a little repeat of that, but I have a lot more to talk about. So, um, but animals start to have babies depending on when the farmer has decided. So we have, uh, our animals have babies in the spring. In fact, we have baby goats uh, and I think just baby goats in the barn right now. I have to ask Jen, um, but uh, sheep and goats on farms sometimes have babies in the spring. Uh, some people have uh, lambs all year, but Jen and I have it so that, um, well, we put the boy in five months ago and then five months later there's babies. That's how, that's how farmers do it. So um, we have lambs. The other thing you will start to see uh, is uh, there will be more bees. We have not seen a lot of bees yet. Um, it is still a little bit early in the spring for bees uh, because there are no flowers and there is no pollen for the bees to go out and harvest. So bees are all still sleeping in their beehives right now. Um, but certainly in a few weeks, we will start to see bees start to fly around uh, and they'll start to do their work. They will be busy, <laughs> busy as bees <laughs> when that time comes. Um, and then the other thing that you will start to see in the spring is you will just see a lot more insects, okay? So right now, there are not a lot of bugs or insects outside. We have two words for insects in English. Um, so we would say that these are insects or we would say that they are bugs. Um, so there will soon be more and more bugs. My kids and I went for a walk yesterday uh, and there was an old log. Uh, and when we rolled it over, there were all bugs underneath, but they were kind of sleeping, I think. Um, and then I think as they uh, warm up, eventually the bugs will spend more time doing what bugs do, doing what insects do. Um, let me jump over to the questions. Uh, I just wanna say hi to the 460 people watching. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. Uh, let's see, Luna. Next question. Hi, Bob. I'm Luna from Korea. Have you ever been to Niagara Falls? Can people visit in winter? So I live really close to Niagara Falls. I will, I promise, go and make a video in Niagara Falls someday soon. Um, and yes, you can visit Niagara Falls in the winter. Um, probably the nicest time of year to visit Niagara Falls, though, is late spring. Um, winter is beautiful in Niagara Falls, but you must like cold weather. 
Um, I think Niagara Falls is the most beautiful in the winter. Um, but in late spring, that is when usually in a normal year, uh, we have the biggest tourist season. But I do promise you uh, sometime I will go and I will do a video uh, let's learn English in Niagara Falls. I haven't gotten there yet, uh, but I'll try to get there soon. Uh, next question. Let's see. Um, next question is from Sina. Hello, Bob. Which seasons do you like the most? The first day of spring, fall on New Year's Day for Persians. Oh, Happy New Year. Uh, Ernia, P.S. Hope to see you in Europe. So, yeah. So the first day of the new of the new year, the first day of spring it is different for different countries. So that's cool. My favorite season is winter, um, although I do like it when it gets a little bit warmer in the spring as well. I do get tired of winter after a while. So um, let's see here. Next question. Laid says, can you describe the spring in your mind? When I think about spring, there's a few things I think of right away. I think about how much more enjoyable it is to go for a walk. It's just the, the breeze or the wind is a little warmer. So when I go for my walk, if I think about spring in my mind, it's just my walk is a little nicer and I see birds and animals when I'm walking. Um, and then the other thing about spring is you guys can't hear it, but there's actually birds outside. Uh, and you'll hear in my videos when I make my videos in the spring, you'll hear birds once in a while. That's usually what I think of in my mind um, when I think of spring. Next question, Bart says, hi, Bob. Do you have any specific festival or party related to that season? Thanks, greetings from Barcelona. We don't really have a spring festival or uh, you know a celebration that happens on the first day of spring. I wish we did. Um, I think that that would be a lot of fun and I know a lot of places outside of Canada probably do, but uh, we don't. Um, and if we did, we wouldn't be having it this year, that's for sure. Um, Thanks, Bert, for the question. Let me clean up the questions here. Bart, sorry. Thank you, Bart, for the question. Um, Dimitri says, Do you notice climate change in Canada when the seasons arrive? In recent years, this has become noticeable in Russia. So Jen and I notice climate change uh, because we are farmers. So one of the things we are worried about in the early spring is if we plant things that we might get frost. So we're worried that it might get so cold at night that things freeze and that's not good for some of our early plantings. Um, the, the, the time that we get frost is earlier and earlier every year. So it does feel like things are getting warmer. We actually have something called the frost date and it used to be May 24th. Now I feel like it's more like May 14th. So as farmers, we do uh, sense that um, that things are getting warmer. Uh, Max Tennyson says, when spring comes back, cherry blossoms will bloom and everything will be better. Yeah, so that, I really hope that spring and warmer weather has some effect on the coronavirus. They say it probably won't, but my hope is that as it gets warmer, um, things change a little bit. Um, we'll see. Um, we do know that um, the virus is spreading in warmer climates as well as colder climate so that might not uh, that might not change it um, Sakai says what is the best month to go to visit Canada so I always recommend that people visit Canada twice um, because you should really come and visit Canada in the summer late spring early summer um, because it's so beautiful uh, Western Canada is very beautiful at that time of year but you really need to come and visit at least once in the winter as well because we are a winter country. I mean, we love hockey. We love snow. Most of us love snow. So uh, you kind of have to visit Canada twice um, to get uh, the true sense of what Canada is like. Um, next question. Let me see here. I need to reread this. Um, okay, so uh, Anya NB says, hello, Bob. We were planning to move to Edmonton, oh, Edmonston, New Brunswick in the end of spring, but they closed the borders till June 30th. Will there be some kind of flowers in July? So the, the beautiful thing about Canada is our outdoor flower growing season goes from April until October. So when you eventually do get here, there will definitely be flowers for you to buy. Yes, for sure. It's a very long growing season. Um, Next question from Isabel Lopez. Hi, Isabel. 
Um, hello, Teacher Bob. In spring, there is a big difference regarding the temperature between day and night in Canada. How much? Thank you. So that's a good question because we had, last week we had a few days where it was 10 or 12 degrees Celsius during the day. Very warm for us right now. And then at night, it was still minus three or minus four Celsius. In fact, last week, Sunday, it was, I think, 15 degrees during the day and minus five at night. So there is a bit of a swing. Um, in the early morning, it can still feel like winter, but in the late afternoon, it definitely feels like spring. So let's see here. Um, next question. Not about spring, but I'll answer it. Van Vandana, hello sir. I'm from India. I just want to thank you because your lessons are really helping me out. No problem. Sir, could you make a video about the vocabulary used by the native speakers? I will try to do a few more videos where I get native speakers to talk to me. Um, I had plans to do a few videos like that, but right now we're all uh, stuck at home in Canada. So that will be a little bit difficult to do. Um, next question, Ramon says, good morning, sir. Is there a lot of people planting trees in Canada in the spring? So in Canada, you can actually get a job tree planting. Like you can be a tree planter. Many university students go up north in the winter or in the summer and they are tree planters. One of the people that I work with, one of the teachers I work with, when he was in university, uh, he went uh, up north quite often in the summer and he was a tree planter. So um, you can get paid to plant trees in Canada. Because we have a forestry industry, because we harvest trees for lumber, um, we need to replant a lot of trees. So you can, you can work in Canada as a tree planter. Uh, next question. Next question. Let me get it pasted in. Sam. Hi, Bob. This is Sam from Taiwan. Hi, Sam. Uh, I have been grateful for you doing this channel. It's really helpful. Do students have spring vacation in Canada and how long is it? So interestingly enough, let's get back to the lesson. Right now it is spring break in Canada. We call it spring break or March break. Um, many people during spring break will go south and they'll go to Florida in the United States. Right now, all the Canadians who are in Florida are either back in Canada or trying to get back because of the coronavirus. So um, it is spring break right now for most high schools and elementary schools and spring break for universities was a couple weeks ago. So spring break is the school break that happens in the spring in Canada. Um, there's a couple other things that happen in Canada. Um, baseball teams have what is called spring training. So in Toronto, we have the Toronto Blue Jays. That is our professional baseball team. Uh, and they are usually in Florida right now at spring training. So because it is nice in Florida in the winter, many baseball teams go to Florida for spring training. So if you are in Florida, because it's warm down there and you're on vacation, you can actually go and watch spring training. Um, but spring training is canceled this year, so there's no spring training right now. Um, the other thing you will see in Canada in particular right now is you will see a lot of maple trees with buckets on the side because people are collecting uh, the sap from the maple tree so they can make maple syrup. Um, this happens usually in late February, March, sometimes into early April, um, but it's, it's a very short season where you are able to collect maple sap uh, from the maple trees to make maple syrup. By the way, if you haven't tried maple syrup, you should try it. It's really, really yummy and tasty. Um, one of the ways I know it is spring in my house is uh, seeds in small seed packages start to arrive because Jen grows flowers uh, she buys a lot of seeds. Uh, she orders a lot of seeds in the winter um, and we start to see seed packages arrive at our door um, because in order to grow flowers, you need to buy seeds. So one of the first signs that spring is coming for me is when seed packages start to arrive in the mail. Um, Jen buys a lot of seeds for sure. Um, by the way, if you are one of the 500 people watching, we are doing a lesson on the season of spring 
Um, again, I was going to do a lesson on vocabulary about the coronavirus, but I decided yesterday I didn't want to do that. I thought it would be more fun to talk about spring as yesterday was the first day of spring in Canada. Uh, and many of you either today or tomorrow is the first day of spring if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, but welcome to the 500 people watching. If you are new here, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Uh, let me jump back to the questions for just a minute. Um, Ken has the next question. Hello, Teacher Bob. In spring season, do Canadians suffer from hay fever? So hay fever is another name for allergies. When you, when you breathe in some things, it makes your nose stuffed up so you can't breathe, and we call it hay fever. Generally, spring is not one of the bigger uh, seasons for hay fever. Uh, usually it happens later in the summer. Um, so I think there are some spring allergies, but uh, not that I not as much as later in the summer, that's for sure. Um, so hay fever is when you have allergies to something, when you have an allergic reaction to something that you have breathed in. Uh, next question. It's from Alexi from Russia. Hello, dear teacher. Hello, Alexi. I'm from the countryside and I think we are having the same climate. Is your garden already getting green? So right now outside, it's just starting to look a little bit green, okay? The grass is just kind of half brown, half green. And I think, Alexi, we're probably in a very similar climate for sure. Um, you must be around the same um, latitude as I am. Uh, next question is from Ario, and Ario says, Hi, good evening. Do you like cherry blossoms? I love cherry blossoms. I love cherry trees. I visited Washington, D.C. many, many years ago um, when all of the cherry trees were in full bloom, when there were blossoms on all the cherry trees, uh, and it was really, really cool. Let's see here. Julia Peng says, Hi, Bob. I love flowers. I do too. Can you give me some phrases to describe flowers? I only have a few words to describe it, like beautiful and colorful. So when people come and buy flowers from us, they say, oh, these smell so good, or these are so beautiful, or they'll say, your bouquets just look so unique, uh, or they'll say, I love the color combinations. Um, and they definitely say, these flowers are beautiful, or your flowers are so beautiful. So Julie, having only a couple words to describe flowers is actually pretty normal. Um, so uh, yes, people usually just say that the flowers are gorgeous or beautiful or these flowers are so pretty. Those would all be uh, very common. Um, I'll answer this question briefly, slightly off topic. Abdullah Al-Mari says, what about coronavirus in Canada? Uh, currently, Abdullah, we are all staying home as much as possible. All essential services are running, but everything non-essential is closed. So there is no school. Um, uh, churches, mosques, synagogues are closed. Uh, pharmacies are open. Grocery stores are open. Um, businesses like construction are open. But for the most part in Canada right now, we are all just staying home. Uh, as a teacher, um, I have to start teaching online next week, so that will be unique. Uh, thankfully, as I've been doing YouTube, I have a, a few ideas for how to teach online. So thank you for being my students for the last three years and helping me practice uh, teaching online via video. That's kind of helpful. Let's see here. Uh, so Sammy, hi. Bob, do you have any interesting or important festivals in spring? Thank you. We, we don't, but what I will say is we start to do more things outside. So farmers markets will start to open again. There will start to be more outdoor concerts. Um, those will start in about a month. So we don't have, in my area, we don't have anything specific for this time of year. Let's see here. Um, Priya Newt says... Hello, Teacher Bob, which flowers do you like most? I really like peonies. They are one of my favorites, but I have a lot of favorites. Um, let's see here, next question. Eduardo Bianco, Brazil, Dar Bob. What is the average temperature in South Canada during spring? Is the ice already melting outside? So the ice and snow is gone at my house, and the average temperature during the day is between four and 10 degrees Celsius, and the average temperature at night right now is about one or zero, sometimes minus one. Uh, let's see here. 
Next question is from Emilio, or Emilio, yes. Here's Emilio from Tenerife. Here's the weather is crazy. It's not as it should be. What about the weather in Canada? Is it as it should be at this time? It's actually quite normal for this time of year right now. We have had some strange weather lately, but right now this week, this is a totally normal week for weather in Canada. Let's see here. Um, Alexi says, Hi, Bob. In Siberia, we have a problem with mites because some of them spread dangerous diseases. Do you have in Canada the problem like that? So we don't have mites, but we are starting to have a lot more ticks. You'll have to look up what a tick is. We have a lot more ticks in the spring and summer. Um, so when we walk outside in the long grass, sometimes we will later find that we have a tick on our leg. A tick is a really small uh, insect or bug. Um, that kind of attaches to you and tries to drink your blood. It's not a very nice insect at all. So we don't have mites, but we do have ticks. Let's see. Um, next question. Alexander Consoni. Hello, Bob. I am Alexander. Greetings from Germany. What is the most common meals in Canada in the winter? In the winter, we eat a lot of soup. We eat a lot of stew. We eat a lot of foods that make us feel warm inside. A sign of spring that I forgot to mention is people will start to go outside and use their barbecue more. So great question. I know it wasn't about spring, but it was a great lead in to talk about spring. Let's see here. Um, next question is from Tacho. Hello from Spain, Bob. Do you also change one hour of your time as we do in many countries in Europe? Yes, we actually did that two weeks ago already. Um, so it is now, for me, it is the same time to do this live stream. For some of you, it is slightly different. Um, let's see here. Next question from Carla, and then I'll finish up the lesson. In spring, we have a special week to celebrate it. In some cities, people have parades with beautiful floats or carriages. They choose the queen of the parade. That's very, very cool. That's very neat. Um, let's go here. A couple more things. In Canada, you cannot drive your motorcycle in the winter. So one of the very first signs of spring uh, is that you will see many more motorcycles on the road. In the winter in Canada, people put their motorcycle in their garage. They store their motorcycle in their garage for the winter. Um, and then when spring comes on the first warm day of spring, um, especially on the first warm Saturday, you will start to see motorcycles again. So you cannot drive your motorcycle in the snow. <laughs> I think most people who live in countries where there is winter will think that is obvious, but you cannot drive motorcycles in the winter. So one of the first signs of spring is that you will see people driving their motorcycles. Um, one of the other things that you will notice in spring is you will have a lot of different smells. One of my favorite uh, smells in the spring is the smell of fresh cut grass. Um, if you mow your lawn, when, when you first mow your lawn in the spring, um, you will have this really nice smell that comes from it. Uh, and then I always think, yes, it's definitely spring when I smell that. Uh, let me finish off here with a few questions. Uh, thanks again to the 470 people watching. Um, I'm just going to uh, answer a few questions and then we will wrap this up. Next question is not about spring, but I only have a couple to go, so I'll do it. Riley Faye says, hey Bob, just discovered your channel. Welcome to the channel. Um, I've heard people pronounce the word internet as internet, international as international. Is it okay generally or only for conversation? So when I'm talking to my colleagues at work, I say things like, um, I was on the internet the other day. So I'm slightly hitting the T. I was on the internet, internet internet the other day and you could also say international so in casual conversation and in formal conversation if you are speaking quickly you would soften that t and you would say internet and international totally legitimate totally okay uh, next question from Anna and this will be the last question Anna says hello thank you for your videos you're welcome Anna uh, I learned a lot what is the most usual thing people do in the spring they go outside. That is probably the most common thing that people do. Uh, yesterday, Jen and I had to go to my school um, because I had to get a few things. So I'm ready to teach from home. And we noticed that there were many people in our local town out for a walk. 
they were keeping their distance, they were social distancing, but there were definitely more people out walking than you would see in the winter. There's just uh, too many, um, there's just too many, uh, it's just too cold in the winter to walk outside. I walk outside, but some people don't. Uh, we got another question here. Uh, Anil Altoon says, do you have a motorcycle and enjoy it? I do not, but when I was younger, I had a motorcycle. Yes, about 25, 30 years ago, I had a motorcycle. I drove a motorcycle for about two years. It was very enjoyable, but it was very dangerous. There were several times where I was driving my motorcycle and someone would pull out and I would have to go around them. Um, very scary, but it was fun to have a motorcycle. Anyways, I'm Bob the Canadian. Thanks to the 477 people watching. Uh, we're going to wrap this up. Don't forget that you should watch parts of this video tomorrow with the English subtitles on. Um, if you didn't watch this week's video, go back and watch it. I'll, um, in that video, I kind of give an update how I am doing and how my family is doing. Um, and then there will be a live uh, lesson tomorrow again at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, join that if you have more questions about the English language. But uh, thank you for joining this lesson on the season of spring. Sorry for the audio tomorrow. problems at the beginning. I hope that everything's working well or worked well during this video. And if not, oh well, we'll, uh, we'll just try it again tomorrow and hopefully things go better. So anyways, Bob the Canadian here. I'm signing off. I'm going to push the button to end this stream and uh, I will see you up. Oh. Now I'm doing that thing where I can't figure out, there's the button. Bye everyone.